What does a nineteen year old do for you? Is it? But like, like, take. Do your, you want to know? Like, like, <laughs> like, I can show you some videos. <laughs> Twelve badass mamas and all their sons, oh, and shit. everybody is horny. What's the worst that could happen? And so there's one point where I'm in a drum circle. This is my favorite part of the whole Eeyore's birthday. I'm in the drum circle. I'm going to get my groove on, nigga. I'm dancing. Ah, got my fur vest. Got my peacock pants. Nigga, I'm out here styling and shit. Styling and wilding and shit. There's like three very gorgeous naked women around me. Just, we were just all dancing free. I was like, I'm Jimi Hendrix right now, nigga. This is crazy. <laughs> this is my dream life. This is what life is supposed to be. I need to do this every day. I Austin's in trouble, the uh, DPS or whatever, because the last month they made 12,000 uh, stops and like 90% of them were black and brown hmm. people. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder and why. And the DPS was like, oh no, it wasn't like, you know, racially motivated. It just so happened. And usually there's only. <laughs> every, every nigga, <laughs> yeah. the light just went out. <laughs> it's usually like only 18,000 stops a year and there's 12,000 in a month. In Austin, because yeah. the since I guess they're having a lack of police department, so it was working, low. It was low. So they bring in state troopers, and so is, now I mean, state, I'm saying hell, state troopers. Yeah, so it's mad. State troopers just pulling over black and brown people out here, and then they're like, "Oh no, it's not racially motivated." And but obviously the numbers are clearly skewed. <laughs> oh damn, are y'all really seeing what I'm seeing right now? Oh shit, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. This back. Is, Two nap. We are in a new studio. Facelift, baby. Oh. We the new bad bitches on the block. <laughs> Nigga. Did, did they just get kicked out of another studio? No. No. <laughs> we are still in good cahoots with Dawa Studios. Yeah. Let's just first All love put to that Dawa. out there. Uh, All love to Dawa. Shout out to Ever J. Yes, They're sir. Doing great things over there. Yes. But we had to sw- uh, make a switch, switch make things up. Make a switch. Up. And we you here at the creek in the cave, baby. Creek in the Cave, the legendary Creek in the Cave here in Austin, Texas, off of 7th Street, the beautiful, the wonderful, the immaculate, the motherfucking prestigious. The legendary. This is fucking beautiful. They hired some niggas. Hell yeah. We, they, they had to do they it. Let the they had to do it. <laughs> Uh-oh. Let's see how long we last after that. Yeah. <laughs> we are here for affirmative action. No. We're here because Creek in the Cave, one of the best clubs in the world. They show us love. We show them love. It's all love around here, Hell baby. Yeah. We got a new producer. Shout out to Jimmy Clifford over the here. The legend. Yeah, what up, what up? Yeah, strongest white mustache in the game. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah, blonde as shit mustache, dog. Dude, it is blonde. It has a little red in there, too. Yeah, oh, yeah. shit. Hell yeah. You like a leprechaun, dog? I'm here for it. Like a cool-ass leprechaun. 100%. 100%. That's yeah. what's up. I already knew the leprechaun vibes, yeah. bro. <laughs> Two That's niggas in a pod so, with a leprechaun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you were as close as an end. You can get to this. <laughs> be on the show, yo. <laughs> Hell yeah. But so no, we out here. Up too. Two yeah. nap, two niggas in a pod, greatest podcast in the world. I am one of two hosts, Jordan McDonald, the wonderful motherfucking unicorn. I am the other host. My name is Daniel West. Glad to be here. Glad to be back. Um, I don't know if y'all noticed on the last episode we did, it was uh, cut off. Um, half that episode was cut off. So a lot of shit that was popping at the time we didn't talk about. We did, but that shit just, you know. Didn't even record it for yeah. some reason. So the first shit that I'm gonna start off with on this episode, it has to be some city boy shit, right? Because it's city shit. boy summer 2023. Yo. So I gotta pull my phone out because I gotta read this correctly because this is the most city boy shit that mm-hmm. probably exists that will happen all year. Okay. Okay. This uh, is legendary. Shit, shit happened to you? No, 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 no. This is some shit. Shit happened. This is city boy of the year. Oh, okay. City boy. Of the year. Footballer Arkov Hakimi's wife filed for divorce and demanded half of his property. She was, however, informed by court that her millionaire husband owns nothing as all his property is registered under his mother's name. Hakimi receives one million something, I don't know what that dollar sign means, (laughs) from PSG Monthly, but 80% of his deposited of this is deposited in his mother, Mrs. Fatima's account. He has no property, no cars, no houses, jewelry, or even clothes in his name. Anytime he wants anything, he asks his mother who buys it for him. And his ex-wife is heated because now she owes him. What? That's a city boy move, dog. Damn. She owes him. Oh, man. That inspired me, dog. Shout out to mothers. Shouts out to mothers. It's so fucking beautiful. It's so wonderful. Always, you know. Looking out for us when we didn't even realize. Bro, she thought she was going to get the bag. She you thought know. she was going to get the bag. And he said, no, no. He did the Dikembe Mutombo. I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think, you think so. You think his mother was trying to fuck him out of his money? And then it just so happened to work out. That'd be crazy. <laughs> nah, his mother's probably smart. She was like, no, no, son. Yeah. I don't trust this bitch over here. These hoes, 
They ain't loyal. Yeah. That's what Chris Brown said. I'm I'm sure his mom listens why, to Chris Brown. You know what I'm saying? Why did she file for divorce? Like, what did they explain I mean, what was going on? Probably she was probably trying to get it back. Because, I mean, if you're that famous and... I feel like if you get super duper famous and rich mm -hmm. and then you meet somebody after you've achieved, you know, the fame and riches, there's more of a chance that I feel like they're going to try to fuck you over in the end. And I feel like I don't know the whole story, but I just read that. And that made my heart smile because it's like the fact that you can like when Jeff Bezos got divorced, granted, he's Jeff Bezos. So it didn't really affect him like that. But his ex-wife got a couple billion became the, became the richest woman yeah like what the of fuck? all time yeah <laughs> it's crazy. yeah signed the prenup well dude you heard about what happened to johnny carson back in the day right no oh, yeah. so johnny carson already huge he's been like the number one on tv for 30 years yeah he gets married to this like 22 year old Ooh. they get a divorce a year later she took half bro half Dude. That's a city girl move. I can't be mad at her. I can't be mad at her. But you know, you, you can tell during the show if you watch it, he'll just get to his desk like, "All right, stop the fucking show." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this bitch got everything. <laughs> That's crazy. That's insane, though. That makes me one. I want to get married. Yo, uh, speaking of like old dudes marrying young women, did you see Marcus Houston? Oh yeah, he's got like. Uh, okay, I saw. Uh, I think his wife just turned like twenty one or something. Yeah, like that, and they've they been married. dating for like five years. Or, or something. I don't, I don't know. Allegedly, if, I don't know if he, the number, was the age, math but, was not mathing. The math yeah, was yeah, not yeah. mathing, dog. They got married when she was nineteen and he was thirty-eight. See, and that's weird. No, it's, that's like, like what is what does a nineteen-year-old do for you? Is it? But like, like, take. Do the, you want to know? Like, like, <laughs> like <laughs> I can show you some videos. <laughs> All right, take sexually out of it. What does a white uh, does a nineteen year old girl do for you? You say what well, you, you was about to say. What does a white woman do for you? <laughs> I don't know if she's white or not. Whoa, what are you thinking about right now, Daniel West? But I'm thinking about your ass. Hey, <laughs> what does a white woman hey, do for you? Hey. This thing's not in the streets. Hey, uh, hey we'll get to up. that later. Uh, but what is it like aside from like sexually? What does a nineteen year old do for a thirty eight year old? Nothing, bro. I'm thirty and I couldn't imagine D talking to somebody under twenty five. I like. bet you she shows him some pretty fire TikToks. <laughs> some great TikTok dances. <laughs> this thing's just entertained all day. Yeah. Hungry, <laughs> hungry than a motherfucker eating. No, food. Marcus Hughes, if I gotta do one more goddamn TikTok yeah. dance. This nigga's eating ravioli and shit. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, that's just that's weird and gross. I'll get that like, shit. Honestly. All the women I've dated have been older than me. I I like that shit. Yeah. So, I'm a I'm free range, but I have a, <laughs> I like that term, free range. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was a good one. Um, but I have a younger sister who's 26, and my rule has always been if you're younger than my sister, it's weird. But if you're like outside of 25, but 25 year old, I'll, but if you're under 25, I don't think we have anything that we can really talk yeah. about in regards to that type of like intimacy type shit. And like, you know, moms are hot these days. So yeah. yeah, I'm, yeah. But, yeah. dude, especially if you're 19, you can't even get into a bar. Yeah, that's no. weird. Like, what are we going to do? They, she's like, not old know? enough to go see your show. No, no, not at all. It's just weird. Like, yo, this is my girl. He, like, She was born after she got an X sister, on her sister. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he has to explain this fucking go yeah. home, uh, Rome, what is it, Roscoe, whatever the yeah, fuck his name was. Uh, uh, what was his whatever name? Whatever his dumbass name was. Go home, Roger. Yeah, yeah, yeah Roger. He, yeah. He, he has to explain that to when people say, Roger. He has to go, I was because, you know, we were. The show TV back show. in the 90s, you know, you weren't born yet. Well you know? before you were born. Dude, she <laughs> only knows Josh Peck as being skinny. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, she doesn't even know fat Josh. Oh, she has no idea who Amanda Bynes yeah. is, bro. Yeah. It's crazy. Like, it's weird. If, if you were born in the 2000s, I'm like grossed out. I'm like, you're a child. Like, don't talk to me. Yeah. Like, you're not legal. But mm -hmm. allegedly they are now, which I think <laughs> is insane. Like, there's no way. There's no way that that's legal. It's just, I don't know. That shit is hilarious. <laughs> But I'm also like, bro, you're Marcus Houston, like you're 38, bro. There's so many. There's a lot of fine 24 year old with like 19, like a teenager. She just got out of high school, bro. She doesn't know anything. He, he was saying I know shit when I was 19. He was saying something about molding her, so it's a manipulation thing. He just oh yeah, the, he don't want a girl grooming. to talk back. The yeah. grooming. A lot of these dudes want dogs. She's considered a hustler's university. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but a lot of these dudes just want daughters. That's a deep cut. Hell yeah. It's a deep cut. A lot I of know these, about hustlers, though. Yeah, a lot of these dudes just want daughters that they can tell what to do and also have sex with for some reason. It's, it's weird. It's gross. I don't know. Why do you want a girl this young? Okay, yeah. have you guys heard of MILF Manor? <laughs> oh, the TV show? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What I've is this? It. It's a TV show based. You want to explain it? All right. So um, it's like a like a reality, like a sexy t uh, reality show. Okay. Where they get all these fucking mothers on the island. Okay. And they're like, uh, we gotta, we have a surprise for you. You know, it's like a dating show or whatever. But the, I think the surprise is 
that it's their sons, right? Isn't that the twist? Yeah. Yeah, it's like 12 hot MILFs and then their sons yeah, and their yeah. sons date the other women the other on the women? show. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that so. sounds incredible. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? That sounds so dope, bro. Reality shows should not that be legal. Is, like the stuff they're doing is literally psychotic. Nigga, that shit is gross. Why would I want <laughs> that? Is, it? That is the funniest concept for a show ever. What is it on? What is? Does it stream on something? Yeah, I think maybe Freevee or something. Freevee. Yeah, okay. You take all the it's fun. on Tubi TV. You take all the fun out of porn categories when you introduce my mother. <laughs> what about the fact that you're going to be living in a house with like eleven dudes all trying to bang your mom? Yeah, yeah. Imagine, if bro. You have, <laughs> imagine if you have the hottest mom, dog. Yeah, I know. And then you see. Like, Everybody's going after her like, dog, chill out, bro. <laughs> and if it's like Flavor of Love, they all fucking each other. So you see oh, like that's 12 gross. different dudes walk out every night. It's like, come That's on, incredible. Man. I'm so trying to binge that shit. <laughs> <Yeah. Yeah. laughs> binge it? You're trying yeah. to apply. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mom, let's go. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah. No, nah, I can put me and my mom through no situation like that. Fuck that. <laughs> no, what about the watch party afterwards? After they're done yeah. filming? Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. The reunion and shit. <laughs> hey, you got to call me dad now. I'm, I'm taking for your dad. You're yeah. my... We're married, okay? Like <laughs> that'd be crazy, bro. Because you know that has to happen to at least one couple. <laughs> they would, they would never do the inverse of that show. It's just oh. like <laughs> our dads and their daughters. It's just like this shit was wrong. This shit is wrong. <laughs> oh my god! And just seeing a bunch of old dudes just yeah. duke it out, it'd be a huge uh, brawl, bro. Just that a shit huge is brawl. wrong. Why is it so television, dog? <laughs> that's hilarious. Holy fuck! Oh my god! That's literally psychotic. Like. That's what, I have a friend who's very well educated, but he loves reality TV. And I asked him, like, yo, you watch. He only watches reality. He doesn't watch no scripted, just all unscripted reality shit. And he has his master's in, like, psychology or something. And he was like, it's literally, like, social experiments that are pretty much illegal to do. But since they're presented as a TV show, it's now legal. But it's all, <laughs> it's all psychotic. It's all going to mentally break all these people. <laughs> what happens if we put yeah. 12 <laughs> badass bitches? <laughs> 12 badass mamas and all their sons. Oh, and everybody is horny. <laughs> and we watch that shit. What's, what's the worst that could happen? Well, you know, with a show like that, just like The Bachelor, they're just pumping them full of booze the whole oh, time. Oh, yeah, the too. whole time. That's the best part, though. Is nobody, it'd be... Boring if it was sober, like oh, I, I guess. But you get some Hennessy in your system. You see Brad's mom for the Whoa. third time walk through with that sundress on. <laughs> yeah, no, and the sunset yeah. is setting behind you like, yo, Brad, I know you my boy, but damn, bro. Damn, <laughs> we like, created an alliance early on, but nigga. Like, yeah. can you imagine if your mom is the high one and everybody's trying to fuck her and then you have to like go and try to fuck everybody's mom. Just to, <laughs> <laughs> just to show you're superior? Yeah. <laughs> Plus, you know, the moms want to stay on the show longer, so they have to kind of, you know. Oh, my God. You know, and then what is going like, home this week? Yeah. Then know? what if you smash like a mom that your mom absolutely hates, but like she's like so into you, and you're just like I'm into her mom. Like I'm sorry. Like, and then she's like, Oh yeah, well I'm gonna fuck fucking Jonathan over here. Yeah. You gonna fuck Jonathan? <laughs> he has a he has six toes on one foot. It's weird. Don't fuck Jonathan, <laughs> mom. You need to find God like Damn. Kanye, dog. <laughs> like I was back in the day, like some years ago, I would be like, I would never do a reality show. But now I'm like, ah. If it was like a cool one or whatever, where I'm yeah. like, all right, I don't have to be presented as like a fucking psychopath or an idiot. Shit, like, even if you are, it will make that shit back yeah, up later. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. If I can sell out a tour uh, after it, you know, fuck it. Dude, dude. I want to go on The Bachelor. You want to go on The Bachelor? But like, I want to, with, there's one girl I can see you on and a there's reality a bunch show. of dudes. But yeah. here's the thing. I would not give a fuck about the girl whatsoever. I would just go drink the free booze and try to bro down with everyone there. Yeah. And then become like a favorite because I'd be on the date and I'd be like, yeah, I, just, I don't think we got anything. Uh, and then know. the show becomes centered around you. Exactly. And then, then you fuck, fucking like, yo, make it be a y'all wouldn't have a job if it wasn't for me, okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I made you. Yeah, you then go you get your own reality show after that. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Let's find some women for That's this. That's what uh, yeah. I Love New York did. Uh, yeah, New York yeah. from Flavor of Love. The fucking personality. She was like, fuck it, I'm going to become the most ratchet so, chicken like, here. It was, it was that, and then they brought her back the next season, and then... They did the Monique, let's turn these hoes in the ladies show. Oh, you was she in was it. The center. Well, you know, you know, <laughs> yo, New York's my, whole background. Yo, my, my mom and my sister, they was watching that shit, bro. That was crack cocaine at some yeah. point, bro. And then it just so happened to be on the TV all yeah. the time. And yeah. then she got her own show, and it was like, holy shit. This yeah. is. And that, that, that started a whole fucking just domino effect of weird dating shows. So they did the weird dating well, shows, and then these. Let's what was the rock and roll one? The dude that oh, Rock of Love. Michaels. Rock of yeah. Love, yeah. Yeah, yeah Brett Michaels. Michaels. It was. It, it was a bunch of dating shows and yeah. then a bunch of let's get a bunch of like 
uh, ratchet ass women together yeah. and put them in one because Bad Girls Club kind of came off of fucking. That New just York goes shit. to show you though, like how white people always copy black people because fucking uh, Flavor of Love. And then Brett Michaels was like, yeah. fuck it. And that was like literally a racist version of <laughs> Flavor of Love. Like, <laughs> Rock of Love was literally a racist version of that show. Shit, at like, least Flavor yeah. had white women in the yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, dude, the, the OG show is the Jersey Shore. Bro, yeah. I fucking loved the job. I was yeah. in seventh grade. Jersey Shore had a out. weird effect on the entire planet. Yeah. Which I was like, this is gross. This is just weird. I don't know why. I never, like, I watched a few episodes. And I was like, ah, this is. Well, this is the reason. Because you, I'm sure even subconsciously, you didn't know those people are real. Like, you're like, yeah. oh, this yeah. is a reality this show personality. Yeah. That's not, dude. I grew up at the Jersey Shore. That's what they're like. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I would see them around. I would get like confused for just regular people. I'm like, is that Snooky? Oh no, that's just some oh, random just woman. Some Jersey Shore, Shore chick. Yeah. Oh Short. my god, <laughs> bro, that's one hundred percent what it's like. That's crazy. Is what's what's the pop and reality show right now? Like, what's the most? Uh, is it like the love on a spectrum? Yeah, like autistic those? lovers or whatever it's called. Or See, that's like why? Why? why that's it. Just feels that just seems <laughs> yeah. wrong. Like, but just, it, wait, is that two like people on the spectrum or one person? No, it's two people. Okay. It's, they're both on okay. the spectrum, right, well, and they're I fucking on the spectrum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're not just like they're not dipping a toe on the spectrum. They fucking nosedive. Like that's the thing. Like that just seems weird and just wrong to me. And then people be like, with me saying that, be like, oh, you don't think autistic people should find love? No, I don't think we should record. Yeah, why are we filming like, and watching they're, this they're shit? No, together. No, it's, it's actually better than a regular couple because when you're on a date, you're like, oh, you know, I need to present myself in a way where they'll like me. Yeah. These autistic people are like, you're presenting yourself to me. Okay, so like this one dude is like, <laughs> he's like, Whoa, what do you like? I like Batman. And she goes, oh, I don't like Batman. He's like, next. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, my God. This stupid bitch this doesn't like <laughs> Batman. <laughs> what? Yeah, but that's how it should be, though, like, right? Like, dude, 100%, because they don't have that thing in the back of their head where they're like, insane. there's no chemistry here, but like, I'm still trying to get some pussy yeah. at the end of the night. Yeah. They're like, oh my God. yo, if you're not going to watch Batman, <laughs> get the fuck out. Now, I, I feel bad because I want to watch it now. Now, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I guess I'll turn it. It's a, it's oh, a Netflix shit. one, right? Yeah. Okay. And I keep hearing about Love Island. Love Island. I have no clue what it's yeah. about. I, I've, people have explained it to me, and I still don't know what the yeah. fuck it's about. <laughs> yeah, I haven't watched Love Island. I've watched. Oh, and uh, people have been. I've been hearing a lot about Vanderpump Rules. I have no clue. I think it's just. Oh, rich, that, that's a whole different. Rich white people. That's an old school one too. That's been on for a while. Yeah, but like it's just it's, like it's these really like yeah. ramped up or something like that, where this motherfucker just cheated on his girl. And like I'm just hearing about it and just oh. seeing Vanderpump Rules everywhere. Yeah, it's just like rich kids, like you know, uh, it's basically Gossip Girl reality show. Mm. You know what I mean? That's wild. Um, reality TV, man. We uh, speaking of reality TV, uh, we re- recently lost a legend. Rest in peace, Jerry Springer, man. Oh yeah, man. All right, Rest, Jerry I, I went. I, I just went on like a loophole watching like old goofy ass Jerry Springer clips yeah. and the. <laughs> The fucking KKK getting beat up by the black dudes on Jerry Springer <laughs> is by far prime t- TV does not get any better than that ever. Bro. Wait, yeah. can, can you set the scene? What happened? So like <laughs> the black dudes are already out like on stage. Right. And they're all chilling and stuff. And Jerry Springer's like, uh, he's like, welcome, like the masters of the white dragons and like brings them out. They come out fully draped up KKK regalia. Right. And they get out and it's probably like the funny thing is you like. The camera angles on the KKK members walking out, and they're getting booed and stuff. And it's probably like five seconds in, into them walking out. You just see one black dude run and just <laughs> <laughs> and, and then all you hear is, doo, 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 bro, it is the funniest yeah. shit ever. And that's it's just it a be. huge brawl. It's just a huge brawl. That's, that's how it should be. Yeah. At that point. <laughs> there was some wild shit on fucking Jerry Springer, man. Like, uh, the all the fucking, like, the transsexuals, like, coming out, be like, oh, I'm actually a man. Like... There was one where he was like, yeah, it was funny. I don't care. I'll do anything once. And like, start making out with like, yeah. She was you know, like, was yo, funny, I have bro. to tell you something. I'm actually a man. And he was just like, I'll do anything once. And like, what? Like, bro. Like, Jay Spears really should have beat Maury's ass. Like, somebody was saying yeah. Maury Poe really like stole that nigga's flow. Yeah, like, man. beat for beat. Just word he did. for word. But then like, they just, even had a trans episode, Maury. Where it was just like, guess which one is it? Oh, yeah, I remember, I remember those episodes. <laughs> is this a girl or is it a trans? That's girl? crazy to play every single day. Man, that Monday was daytime through Friday. television. Yeah, bro. Monday through Friday at like fucking 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. every That's single daytime day. Daytime like, television. Why? Guess which one it yeah. is. <laughs> oh, shit. Why were like TV stations like, this is what we need to play in the middle of the day when kids are sick and they're just at home? 
So you know, see, see dudes in the audience. Nah, that's a, that's a girl, yeah, dog. Yeah. Nah, yeah. Like, oh, shit, they got me. Then you start playing the game. You're like, oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> she was bad as fuck. I mean, he, oh, I don't even home. know. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. Play along at home. Which, and then, but then Maury just kind of turned into just the, are you the father? Yeah. Type. That was the majority yeah, of that. that. The, Jerry Springer was like a whole plethora of, and then I remember the, I guess the main security dude from Jerry Springer, he got his own show. Like the Steve Wilco oh, we, show. Wilco's, yeah, yeah, the Steve Wilco show. And his was too emotional. It was not funny. It was like, <laughs> his was like very serious and like really serious cases and stuff. And like. Uh, I'm trying to laugh and get entertained. This do, is making me Do you think so, uh, there could be a show like that and like be popular now? Yeah. Bro, yes, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yes. We just need, you just need the right host. You just need the right host. Jerry Springer was the most unsuspecting guy to mm. host that type of show. That's why it was so perfect because he was the most wildest, trashiest people in America. Because I feel like that just translated over to the reality TV. I feel like if we have that, people will just think it's kind of Yeah, fake. but I mean, you got to do it right. You need the right you need the right host. Yeah. You just need the right host. Jordan, would know. you host that show? Shit, honestly, yeah. I think, yeah. Like, I think that's the show, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That just, would be fire. Damn, you need I, the new I, Jerry Springer. I, I'm the new Jerry Springer, bro. My, new, my name <laughs> yeah. now is Jerry yeah. Springer. <laughs> Every time I like tell people I get booked on a show and be like, no, Jerry Springer. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we're bringing in a bunch of Republican politicians and a bunch of drag queens. And that would kick it out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but see, the thing is, it wouldn't even be, you would have to make it even more insane because that was like, what, the 90s into the early 2000s and yeah. 2010s and stuff? Like, Jerry was on for a minute. But you, it'd have to be more insane now mm. because now every, the world is used to more, like, normalized around, like, LGBTQ culture and stuff like that. So mm. it would have to be... Bitch, I'm a furry or some shit. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I love dogs. Yeah, I love dogs or whatever. <laughs> like, bestiality or I like shit. putting peanut butter in between my butt cheeks and letting your pit bull lick it out. Like, you <laughs> have to, like, you know, get some real wild shit to really make people want to watch. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, oh, that's that a nigga sense. that likes the pit bull lick peanut butter out of his butthole. Ain't uh, a freak. Speaking of freaks. Uh, you've been on your city boy shit. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Chill out. Whoa, first of all, whoa, first of all, I don't want to. First of all, go straight from bestiality to Jordan. But yeah, first of all, weird transition. All right. That was a hard left. The transition. Second of all, uh, uh, city boy shit and freak shit are not synonymous. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, you've been asked to do some freak every shit every once in a while. Some freak shit may come around, which you, you think you, I just so <laughs> might be obligated to partake in, you know, because yeah, Jer- I can't say no to the experience, it, dog. Jordan told me this girl asked him to pee on him. <laughs> to pee on him? Yeah, to yes. pee on him. Yes, bro. <laughs> did you do it? No, I did not do it. I have not done it yet. Uh, I'm not done it yet. Um, there you go. I mean, you're telling I, me yo, I, I'm not going to lie. There is a very high chance of it yo, happening. We, I was very interested. I've only met her twice, and each time she was like, I'm into pee stuff, man. Dog. I will let you pee on me, and... We but, were we were at a party, and he goes, "Yo, this chick asked me to pee on her," and I was like, "Did you do it?" And I was, he was like, "No." Nah. And I was like, "Nigga, I would have been like, I didn't have to go now, but we can, <laughs> I can squeeze some out." <laughs> I would I would have filled up on beer, and then every time I went to the restaurant to check that, like, you wanna, <laughs> yo. Now, are you worried that you're gonna love it? No, no, no. <laughs> I know I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is it a white woman? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course yeah. it is. Yeah. Yeah. That's it my is. people. <laughs> yeah. I've been, because uh, I, I got out of a, a breakup relationship uh, officially in like January, and I can't handle heartbreak from black chicks anymore. It hurts too much, and no uh, white woman will break my heart the way my mother has. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, I can handle heartbreak from white women. So now I'm like, I've been uh, dipping my toe in the milk of it, yeah. <laughs> you know? Been swimming in the lactose and hey, hey, my queen very is, tolerant. My queen is black. Yeah, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Yeah. Wait, I, I, I have more questions. Okay, where are you gonna aim? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's exactly. the thing because, like, is this like, 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 like a carnival? Oh, she just yeah. sits I'm, there, like, I'm yeah, like headshots. it depends on the, is mouth open or not. Like, no. I, I feel like that depends. Mouth open or closed, I'm taking headshots. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> right here, yeah. going for the fucking middle of your forehead. Yeah, and then <laughs> it's, it's I'm gonna watch it trickle down. I'm gonna watch it, then I'm gonna like. Shift, you know, like I'm gonna go up and down. I'm gonna hit the whole body. You know, some know. guys don't like it. You know, if their girl blows them to kiss her afterwards. What if she wants like a little smooch afterwards? I don't know. Pee like that's different. That would be. Like, yeah. 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 yeah, but she's like, what? You can pee on me, but you can't kiss me I, after I you pee. I don't, I don't mind. It's sterile. I don't mind the like. All right. thing, I'm not. I'm not peeing on a girl I love. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> 
I'm not gonna lie. When I was in love, and she would ask me to pee on her, I'd be like, "Absolutely, Queen." <laughs> You're like, get in the bathtub. But what I'm doing in the bathtub, like, I'm get in the bathtub, because I don't want to clean that up. Like, I want to be somewhere. I want to pee somewhere where it's easy to clean up. Like, if we outside in the woods, because that'd be even more dope. Or in the bathtub, because like, uh, put the water on, let the whole drain out. You're like, I'm not, I'm not gonna piss on some girl that I love, but I love pissing on yeah. girls. <laughs> <laughs> But like that's not fair though, because if you fuck and she squirts, that's just going to. But also, <laughs> you might as well piss on her in the bed. Nigga. No, because that's no, because dude, girls straight up don't think it's pee, and it's for sure pee. It is one hundred percent. I don't know what it is. I'm not a professional. <laughs> nigga, I, but I, I've had to clean my sheets multiple times. Nigga, that shit, that shit is a little piss. When it happens, it's. It's always a fun time. You're always like, nobody's like, oh man, no, I can't believe I made this happen again. Like, yeah, nigga, my dick game is strong. Get out here. Yeah. I feel great putting them sheets in the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I did this shit. I did this shit. And you feel less creative. It happens all the time. Like every time you have sex, you're like, really again? Yeah, yeah. That's being a burden. You think Tide Pods money. just grow on trees, bitch? <laughs> oh, we got Miss Squirt Game over here. Just, yeah. Every fucking week, new episode. <laughs> Oh shit! Uh, yo, I had my birthday uh, this past weekend. Yeah, that shit was dope. Um, birthday started off great. I had some shows, uh, fam. That Saturday night, I went out with my girl. She wanted to take me out to eat uh, for my birthday. Oh and yeah, I was like, all right, it's cool. <laughs> Having his woman like, take him, him out. You know what I'm saying? It was after a show, and it was like twelve. Take your man out more, Queens. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. It was like twelve thirty a.m. Nothing was really open um, except like Buffalo Wild Wings, but that they were closing early. But they were like, "Yo, the spot over next door is open till two a.m." All right, cool. We walk over. Uh, the place is called Ojo Loco Locas Sports Cantina. All right, cool. They got music jumping. The parking lot's jumping. All right, cool. Seems soon like soon as a- we walk in, I go, "We should not have come here." <laughs> <laughs> Bad bitches everywhere in the fucking skirts that would cover half the ass. Oh, asses hanging Panties out. inside of the yeah. ass. There's a whole oh. bunch of Cardi B's. Fam. Yeah. <laughs> like, some of the baddest Mexican bitches you've ever seen in what your life. What were they serving up? What food were they serving up? I'm thinking Mexican food. Just tacos. Oh, just, they were just half naked shit. serving Mexican food? Uh, beers everywhere, dog. As soon as we walk in, I was like, How no, much was it? Oh, no. Oh, damn. They when is a, happy hour? I'm they, trying to go. They, they, they give us a uh, table. They sit us... Right next to the fucking kitchen. So I see everything walking in and out, bro. I'm like, yo, oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, baby. Oh, we good. Oh. Nigga, it is a problem. Daniel's over here just eating his food like this. Like that, bro. <laughs> our, our waitress, the baddest Mexican oh my chick I've ever seen in my life. She's like, Daniel, why are you drooling? Oh, I'm just really hungry. <laughs> oh, my God. So <laughs> yeah, my girl, my girl was fucking with me at one point. She goes... Uh, you want me to tell them it's your birthday? I was like, no, no, please. Because there was like some commotion in the back. They were singing happy birthday in the back and all the waitresses went. They all just half naked. I was like, nah, babe, I'm good. I don't need that. I don't, I'm, I'm straight. Daniel, is, is your food hot? Like, why are you sweating so much? Like, <laughs> but yo, look, if you was a single dude, go to that place. Jordan, yeah. go. You'll have a, a fantastic by the, time. Uh, B-Dubs is by the crib? Yeah, yeah, oh, by nigga, that that's like two, distance. two doors that's open. Distance for me, dog. You are gonna have a fantastic time. Hell yeah, yeah. I promise sounds, you. Shit. Sounds like a great sponsor for the pod. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm about to go there every week, yo. Yeah, uh, Y'all like niggas? If you have a girl, don't walk your ass up in there. That shit is <laughs> trap city, nigga. They were playing all types of Spanish or music. Or to see how real she is, walk her up in there, how she feel about around a bunch of baddies. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we had a fine time. The yeah. food was fantastic. I just. Yeah, your chick is, is confident though. She's oh no, very, yeah, she's, she's very great. confident. She's and, like yeah, she's very, great. yeah. How would she do with the reverse? Let's say you go to like oh, some a bunch of dishes out. Yeah, <laughs> just, <laughs> you know, a hot fucking yeah, dudes out. Of, I don't know if I would want to eat there. <laughs> <laughs> like, man, this seems gross. I don't want to. <laughs> why do he sell sausage? Why? Why is everybody sweaty in here? Why? Why is every waiter sweaty in here? It's weird. That's gross. That's nasty. Yeah, this. And then the bow ties and shit. Yeah. Nah, Chippendale okay. dancers. <laughs> Man, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> They're doing the, like, the absolute most. They were every like, play. It's just like, spinning and <laughs> shit, dancing and <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I also went to Lake Charles. Uh, went to go gamble at fucking Golden Nugget. Nigga lost birthday. all of his money. Uh, I only lost half my money. I was, <laughs> <laughs> I was at the blackjack table. I was up a good amount. And I was like, all right, a few more. And I'm walking up. And then it was a full table except one spot. 
Nigga came, sat right next to me, fucked up my entire momentum. I lost all that shit. I was like, you motherfucker. <laughs> you goddamn oh. motherfucker, dog. <laughs> Only way to get up is like you start betting big, and I was betting big, and then you keep betting big. That shit goes away real quick, but I should have got out. And Damn. I was, this nigga sat down, and I, I knew it. Someone said, yo, get up. <laughs> get up. <laughs> don't even don't even play no more. That was God I, was, telling I, you. I was already up, but I was trying to get up some more and I was like, all right, I'm gonna get up a little bit and then I started losing and I just looked at this nigga like, yo, because he started hitting shit. He started getting the cards that I was uh, trying to get. And I was like, you motherfucker. Damn, it was like I am not Chris Tucker in Rush Hour Two right now. This is yeah, bullshit. Yeah, this yeah. is bullshit. Damn. Oh, I, uh, I wish I knew how to play craps. That's just How do you do when you lose? So you get pissed, you start yelling at the dealer? <laughs> No, bitch. it was the yeah. fam, Give me you, a fucking you, two, you, bitch. You, you do look at that motherfucker. So when I sat down, it was a different dealer, and they were all looking like, yo, you might not want to sit here because this thing was, <laughs> he was fucking up the cars. He was uh, hitting everybody and shit. And, and there are times where you go, all right, I got a 20. Cool, I'm good. And then this nigga will pull out a fucking nine and a fucking two, and then a fucking ten will come after that. He got twenty one. I'm like, you bitch ass nigga. Where was that ten earlier, bitch? <laughs> I'm not a big gambler. I've gambled some and I've won some money, but I'm not a big gambler. I can't. Yeah. I can't emotionally handle that type of turmoil. Oh, uh, dude, my first time gambling at Gold Nugget, I walked in with 150 dollars and I walked out with 1300. Yeah, I mean the first time gambling, that's, that literally happens to I feel like everybody. That first time, no. Uh, Man, you, no. you got to know what you're doing. Oh. Like if you first if you time just I, follow, came, I walked out with with the with the stack, like especially with the blackjack. If you just follow kind of like the basic blackjack theory, yeah, shit, yeah, yeah. You'll, you'll, I'm talking about them slots, nigga. You'll at one point be up money, <laughs> but you just got to know when to walk the fuck out of the table. Like yeah, anything, yeah, yeah. nigga, anything can fuck up your momentum. Just another nigga sitting down. And this past weekend in Lake Charles, out. Daniel West did not know when to walk out. Yeah. <laughs> I, if I would put more money down, I probably would have choked that nigga. Was like, <laughs> Why'd you sit down? <laughs> You're too close, man. You're too close. Yeah, you should have waited, bitch ass nigga. That's fun. I uh, last week I went to Eeyore's birthday. Yeah. Explain this. You told okay. me about this right. in the car. Eeyore's no birthday sense. is in Austin, Texas, uh, staple. Uh, it's been going. This was the 58th year. Uh, Eeyore, as in who? the the depressed uh, donkey from Winnie the Pooh. People are celebrating a depressed donkey from a cartoon show's birthday for the past look, 58 look. years in the city. All right, I don't understand all the shit that the white folks in Austin, Texas, do, but I and, partake in and their he, activities. And he willingly went to willingly that went. shit. Willingly <laughs> went. I. Uh, Ate some uh, special types of uh, mushrooms, some special types of portobello mushrooms. These white women are getting to them, and dog. They I'm are. They you. are. Uh, and so it's it's really just a community festival um, where they just kind of celebrate being Eeyore alive. We need the poo. Nigga, so it's uh, two dr- main drum circles. Um, and then they got like a children's section where they're doing face painting and, and children's games and stuff. But they got mad like beers and food, festival food. Um, and everybody's just chilling in the park, dancing, jamming out to music, right? And so there's one point where I'm in a drum circle. This is my favorite part of the whole Eeyore's birthday. I'm in the drum circle. I'm going to get my groove on, nigga. I'm dancing. Ah, got my fur vest. Got my peacock pants. Nigga, I'm out here styling and shit, styling and wilding and shit. And uh, there's like three very gorgeous naked women around me. Just We were just all dancing free. I was like, I'm Jimi Hendrix right now, nigga. This is crazy. <laughs> this is my dream life. This is what life is supposed to be. I need to do this every day. I bet it um, smelled crazy in there. <laughs> <laughs> there were some parts that, like, I was like, okay, like, somebody's a little extra funky, but yeah. then that somebody would, like, drift out. You'd be like, okay, it smells like earth again. Yeah, but, they probably got a whiff of themselves. Oh. Yeah. Well, whoa, <laughs> goddamn. But, no, nah, it was fun, man. It was just a bunch of uh, hot moms. Uh, I don't know where their children were. They were not. The hot moms did not have their children with them. Well, some of them did. Those but. are the moms that are going to be on the fucking MILF. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the hot moms that I met uh, had, did not have their children with them. Uh, were they naked? You said they were naked. No, they're half naked. Half naked. Yeah, so, okay. there's very little uh, clothing. But, yeah, just a hippie festival, man. And so now... I got invited to Eeyore's Ever After, nigga. So that's uh, the after the weekend after Eeyore's birthday, and that's at uh, Texas Music Ranch. And you camp in the woods and do whatever you do and do, do some hippie you do, shit. Nigga. You gonna yeah. get sacrificed in the name of some cartoon? Probably, dog. <laughs> you but better watch out. <laughs> you know, sometimes a real nigga gotta get sacrificed, dog. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here. I've already uh, made uh, sacrifices this year. I don't want you to go out by the hands of some white women celebrating a cartoon, my nigga. Fuck it. Whatever. (laughs) I don't care. Cartoon donkey. It was a good time, though. It was was a wonderful time. Just people chilling, smoking weed, dancing. The drum circles were dope. It was probably like at least 100 people beating on drums and stuff. So, yeah, that shit was cool. I don't know. Is this something you had to buy a ticket for? No, bro. It was free. It was completely free. Yeah. They they do it every year uh, at Peace Park. And... 
Yeah, you just show up oh, yeah, and have a part. good time. Yeah, man. I went the year before with my uh, girl, and she didn't have a good time. She was like, it's hot. <laughs> so then I was like, Psh, I'm a city boy now. Yeah. Went solo dolo and had a blast, bro. I met all types of uh, baddies to come to shows. It was, yeah, it was hey, a good time. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, so baddies. Uh, <laughs> insulting your celebration. Yeah, see, don't. That, it, was, <laughs> it was a celebration of a bunch of baddies. Well, there we go. Yeah. I ain't know Eeyore had a pool like that. See, Eeyore, Eeyore, <laughs> Eeyore brings, brings like Eeyore. the shorties, bro. Eeyore brings the baddies, dog. I guess. Yeah. It's something about, you know, maybe Eeyore got a therapist. You know, he's not as depressed anymore. So then chicks, bro, chicks love niggas with therapy. I guess. Especially donkeys. Well, I like to see y'all at the Juneteenth celebration. Yeah. As well, you in therapy? I doubt it. I've done therapy before, but not currently. Okay. I just, here's the problem. Pull dude. the therapy card. No, I can't do therapy because... A, if it's a woman, I'm going to lie. I'm just going to be like, okay. no, everything's going great. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm fucking killing it, dude. you just and lying to women. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, just because I'm like, I'm not going to act like a bitch in front of her. You know? yeah. Yeah. And uh, if it's a dude, I'm also going to lie. <laughs> like, I had a handsome black therapist that I would call over the phone. And I'd be like crying. And then I'm like, oh, I have therapy. And I would wipe away the tears, and he'd be like, hey, what's up, man? And I'm like, dude, I'm doing great. How are you? <laughs> Let's talk about you. Like, tell me what's going on with your life. And he's like, That's you know, crazy. you're paying me for this. Because yeah. <laughs> you would think, like, because I had, I had to get a therapist. I went through, like, five therapists, and now Tom, the motherfucking therapist, had to get somebody that was the complete opposite of me. He's a, a burly, like, very hefty, huge beard white dude who's uh, gay. And I'm like, okay, I feel like I can just – tell you whatever because there's no like real like we're complete opposites from each other <laughs> you won't run into that nigga nowhere yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> i don't know like because i had the woman therapist it was kind of the same thing it was like i wouldn't tell her everything i'm like i don't want you to judge me and shit yeah. you know you know like i can't have that type of judgment that's that's very like i don't know it's too motherly and like yeah oh you judging me out here it feels like my mom's judging me out can't do that so i'm not gonna tell you now anything. would your mom be cool with therapy her doing therapy or no? I mean, you doing therapy? Yeah, yeah. She's like, you need that shit. You. Oh yeah, my yeah. mom would be like, I do it if you're gay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know my son was gay. I'm like, my mom would want me to go to like a Christian therapist. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Get the Lord in. He's like that defeats the purpose. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I want to go to a Christian therapist just to like fuck around, like just to joke around with them. What's up, Nick? Like, <laughs> <laughs> they don't have a great sense of humor. <laughs> uh, yeah, I imagine, yeah, but I would, imagine. So, I would just try to get them to crack. Just be like, ah, I finally got you, Jebediah. I finally got you. <laughs> Chris is going by Jebediah. Jesus. Wait, how do you think they would handle just the last story you told? That I went to a park where there were naked women and children, oh, and I yeah, did drugs. See, <laughs> I don't think they would be to very celebrate rough. a cartoon. I'm excited to tell my therapist Tom about this shit, bro. I can't yeah. wait, dog. I, wait, I was there but, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But I don't think a Christian therapist would uh, really react too well, or they may be interested, and or they maybe ask me something like, "All right, like, what was your calling to there?" I'm like, if I wasn't supposed to be there, God wouldn't have told me to go there, you know. They'd be like, uh, Jordan, tell me, how does it feel, or how does it make you feel to know that you're going to hell? <laughs> <laughs> like honestly, if they do a visit a bunch of naked women dancing in hell, bro, yeah. count me in. Hey. I'll, I'll take the first fucking train to hell, bro. <laughs> That'd be dope. Damn, thinking about it. Because if that's hell, bro, the hell is lit. I don't because every depiction of hell looks way more lit than what people like actually I say it is. You looking at it. Yeah, I don't I know. I grew, All the depictions. I grew up in a Christian household. Oh. <laughs> well, like I'm talking about depictions in like film and stuff. Like hell looks fun as fuck in movies. Like there, there's little Nikki, they were partying in hell, bro. <laughs> I I've always seen hell as hot. Oh. Um, I mean, hot te and Texas crowded. is hot. Texas is hot and crowded. It's you ever hear uh, the uh, the band Rainbow Kitten Surprise? No, you would that's like a deep them. cut. Yeah, Rainbow like Kitten Surprise. It, they're good, but they have a lyric where they're like, um, "Why are you calling so late? It's uh, two a.m. and all the bars in hell close at 10. And I'm like, yeah. "That would be. Damn. That's a great Damn. point. Like, Damn. Yeah, yeah, there are bars, but it closes at ten. Yeah. Once it starts to get fun, <laughs> that would be worse than having no bars. <laughs> There's yeah. a. Uh, I remember, I was I was a big fan of Twilight Zone, and there was an old episode of Twilight Zone where this dude dies, and he thinks he's in heaven. Everything that he wants is going right. He's playing pool and every shot is going in. It's like just mad women that all like want him or super attracted to him. And he's like, yo, like he goes to God and he's like, yo, can I go to like the other place? And God is like, the other place is his other place. He was in hell the whole time, but everything was going right for him. And like nothing like went wrong and it drove him fucking crazy. 
which like I thought was stupid. I thought it was an interesting <laughs> concept of hell. That's stupid. Because I, I always thought like it'll either be like you burn it in a crowded place or it'll be like the thing you hate the most. Like like if they were like, damn, sit down and eat some celery. I'd but like, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> but if you look at hell, I just from, thought like, it was all ass rape the whole time, <laughs> which is much better. Yeah, Daniel's yeah. like, oh, right, yeah. if I do some bad shit, I'm going to have to eat celery for eternity. <laughs> no, I fucking hate celery. That's <laughs> <laughs> but then, like, if you look at. Greek mythology, hell, ass rape, which is no <laughs> hell is like a whole like everybody goes to hell in Greek mythology. But then there's like places where the good people oh, go. There's like hell. levels of hell. Yeah, you know? there's there's one story where one dude was a bad dude and he went to hell. And under him was like the most like clearest, cleanest, purest drinking water. And above him was like the most fruitful peach tree. And every time he reached up, the peach would get higher. And every time he tried to go down to get water, the water would just sink. And so, Damn. and that was his hell. Yeah, which I'm like, nigga, that's hell. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's hell. That's if that's yeah. What if you just have to like listen to an ex girlfriend talk and never get to the point? Oh my god, <laughs> that's hell. You just have to hear her story over and over again, <laughs> and, just, and it never reaches a you conclusion. Can't kill yourself. <laughs> you, <laughs> you can't just, kill yourself. You, you have, have to listen the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> like you're trying to scream, oh but it just god. goes. No, that's interesting. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> No, Elab- keep going. Elaborate. Okay. <laughs> You're like, no! <laughs> Wait, stop! Wait. How did you explain that further for me? Huh? Oh, Wait, man. go back to when you said... <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, that's funny. Oh, that's hilarious. That's funny. Man, that was a great episode. Yeah. Great yeah, episode been in the new studio. Yeah, this is the start of something new, everybody. The start of something wonderful. Y'all are seeing just... This is a historical moment in American history. They will talk about this shit in the textbooks, my nigga. Just like that, too. All the little white children will have to blank out when they get to that part. But they're going to read it and be like, I feel that on an emotional and spiritual level. Yeah. Two nap. Two niggas in a pod. Greatest podcast in the world. In the creek in the, in the cave, baby. Creek in the cave. Let's go. Uh, well, these are going to be out more regularly now, too. With our mans, Jimmy motherfucking Clifford. The guy in them. The Irish God. Yeah. Do you guys have a, an email for the pod? And maybe uh, we, have a pod uh, we have a Instagram and email for the pod. Uh, I don't got to put my... The, well, just call out the plugs to tell yeah. people where to follow Follow you. the Instagram. Uh, at, I was about to give out my personal email. I, don't want to <laughs> email. I had thought about it. I was like, hold on, make a pause. Uh, no, uh, follow us on Instagram at 2NAP Show, 2-N-A-P-S-H-O-W. Um, everywhere you can find podcasts, we at. We in this shit. Video. Beautiful. On camera. We're going to be on the Creek in the Caves YouTube channel. That's where you can find uh, us via YouTube. Uh, check us out on Spotify. Just type in 2NAP. We the only show that's called 2NAP. We the only show that has a remotely close name yeah. like 2NAP. So it's very easy to find us. You're going to see a cool-ass logo with two niggas and a peapod. That's us. Uh, two niggas uh, we in the peapod right now. But you're going to see us, <laughs> our faces in the peapod, when you look us up on the enters of the net where you listen to all of your podcasts. Hell yeah. (laughs) We out, baby. Peace. Peace.